Welcome back, everybody, to another Mobile Minute. Chuck, how does the car fit into location-based marketing and commerce? Well, the car, like, uh, like everything mobile and internet, is kind of everywhere. And what we saw at CES was that Chevrolet made a major announcement in an in introduction of their AT&T wireless service so that starting in uh, 2000 uh, next year, they're basically going to have all Chevys going to be wired essentially on the network with AT&T service. So uh, the CTO of OnStar I spent some time with there, and he was talking about how basically how they you can bring a, a phone into the car, and then basically the car is another device on the network. So people are going to start to look at the car as uh, I'm, I've got a shared data plan on my plan. I've got my tablet, my smartphone, and my Chevy. Uh, so they're really kind of looking at it at it that way. And what I'm looking at is this is an obvious intro to commerce or, or mobile commerce, literally, and no pun intended, where you're going to be able to be doing things on the car like, like Priceline, which they showed some apps for that right now, that you can order things, Fandango. And you can basically, on your car dashboard, uh, start to buy things, and that'll be all integrated with your phone. So we're looking at, at mobile commerce really coming into the vehicle, not just on a smartphone, because it's much easier to do it through voice. You've got Nuance working with the auto manufacturers, for example, that, that does Dragon and Siri for iPhone. With those companies like that can actually have people talking to their cars, buying things, and have the transaction basically executed later on a smartphone or tablet. How do you think that proximity plays into this around things like movie tickets or around hotel rooms like we talked about uh, with Priceline? Does that play into this or is it just generic stuff that we're going to be able to interact with and buy from the from the car? Well, it's most likely going to be a lot of it's going to be location based because that location awareness is really critical in all of this. And the, the companies that will totally screw up in this will totally miss that. Uh, they, they'll they'll be doing this general stuff as, as you mentioned, and they'll not be taking advantage of, of location, which means the information that's that they're trying to get a consumer to buy is going to be totally irrelevant. <laughs>